here's where it all began. Yeah, that's me, that purple blobby thing, but in no time I had developed that see-through white skin that I still have today. I swear, I did grow ginger hair, but I lost it. But, you know, no worries, it was back soon enough. These girls, Grace, Maggie, and Ashley, have been my best friends since I was born. We were all kind of thrown into the situation, but I guess it worked out better than I could have ever imagined. See, what I tell you about that ginger hair? Would I ever lie to you? As you can see, I like to color my fish multicolored, and I also had colorful hair. Not much really changed, has it? One day this happened, and by this I mean my little brother. He was called Ethan. As a child, most of my memories were of vacation, like this one where we were at the Bahamas, or this one at Aruba. In 2008, we got a dog named Charlie. She was only 10 weeks old when we got her, but before she was even one, she turned into this. Crazy, right? What'd I tell you about vacations? Because in 2009, we were off to Montana, a road trip from Montana to Wyoming to Utah and back again. It was amazing. Fast forward to 2011, and I was in fifth grade where I met a girl that I've been best friends with for four years, Caitlin. My fifth grade graduation was so much fun, and I was so excited to be one of the big kids in middle school. Soon after that, I was off to Chicago with my mom for yet another vacation. Though Chicago was absolutely perfect, I didn't get to enjoy it because I was sick. The only a month later, I was in the hospital. I'd been diagnosed with a rare tumor called a pheochromocytoma. A mere months later, I had had surgery and I was back home. I still needed to recover for two more weeks, and then it was off to school for me. I don't care what anybody says. Middle school is definitely where I made most of my lifelong friends. I still talk to most of them, even three years later. And these people definitely shaped me into the person I am today, and I thank them so much for that. Even though sometimes they do things that I don't exactly understand, like, um, this... Before I knew it, it was the last day of 8th grade. All of us were upset because this has been our home for three years, and we had grown so much since starting there. It was hard to believe that we were going into high school, and it came out of nowhere. Now we're going to have to think about, like, college and careers and... <laughs> Whoa. Not before another fantastic summer. <laughs> I went to West Virginia with my grandpa and my aunt Maggie. You may remember Maggie from an earlier picture where we had hot chocolate dribbling down her chin. Yeah, she's changed a lot since then, hasn't she? No matter how many times I go to West Virginia, I'm always amazed by the beauty. But sadly enough, it was soon time to hurry home. Get one night's sleep and then back on the road, this time with Miss Elizabeth, Forrest, Kathy, and of course, Maggie. We made it to Virginia Beach, and the next morning, I made Maggie get up at 5 a.m. to watch the sunrise with me. But it was definitely worth it. While we were there, we got an amazing family portrait, and we watched fireworks on the 4th of July, but I didn't get a good picture of those, so just imagine it. And we also stayed on Sand Fiddler Road, which my dad found hilarious. Once I was home, I had two weeks to relax before I was at it again. Yep, there's me, and there's Maggie. And we were by ourselves, but we managed to find the plane after only getting lost once. They patted me down, too, but that was a different story. After a terrifying plane ride, the longest car ride ever, we were finally at the amazing beach house in Long Island, where not only was the beach in walking distance from us, but we also had a boat to go out on the bay with. Needless to say, we were both really, really happy about it. So I was sad to see another good vacation go, but I had to get back for my first year at high school. And this is where I am now. The high school is about three times the size of my other middle school, and it was pretty overwhelming. But I have been reunited with tons of friends from middle school, as well as new ones. And yeah, here I am now. Big change from how I looked back in 1998, huh? So that's my life in photos tag. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you next week, my lovelies. Bye. Thank you.